Now, if Malay acts on some or all of his campaign promises, Argentina will be in for a remarkable economic experiment. It wouldn't be the first country to dollarize its economy, but it would by a long way be the largest. So dollarizations happened in El Salvador, Panama, and Ecuador. But look at the difference. None of them even come close. The largest, uh, which is Ecuador, is just a fifth the size of Argentina's. It also wouldn't be the first time Argentina's attempted dollarization. The government pled, pegged its currency to the dollar, which is slightly different, but it's pretty much the same concept. In 1991, that scheme folded in 2002. Dollarizing means Argentina will have to come up with and buy into the dollar. It makes the country's central bank, at least on certain monetary uh, responsibilities, essentially obsolete. They are really running a dollar economy. Miguel Alberto Giguel is the former advisor to the Argentinian economy. He joins me now from Buenos Aires. Do you, sir, thank you, do you expect, I mean, there's really two aspects here. There's technical there's the technical aspects of dollarizing, where you've got to get the dollars into the system, you've got to provide the liquidity, you've got to provide the notes and coins, you've got to transfer, all these sort of things. Now, the economist said it can't be done. Professor Steve Hankey said absolutely it can be done. It's just a matter of nuts and bolts. Where do you stand? Um, I think that, you know, Millet is very too optimistic on, on the issue of dollarization. He's been pushing for the dollarization because he thinks that that's a way, you know, to, to stop uh, deficit financing, to stop fiscal deficits, which has been one of the main problems of Argentina over the years. Now, the big problem for Argentina is, or for the government, basically, is that it wants to dollarize and it doesn't have dollars. Uh, obviously, uh, dollarization means to exchange all the pesos in circulation and give people uh, U.S. dollars, coins, bills, whatever they need, right? And the amount that Argentina needs to do that uh, transaction is roughly $30 billion if they want to buy all the monetary base, which is what this are the liabilities of the central bank and what, that's what it needs to be dollarized. That money clearly is out of reach for Argentina. Because Argentina first doesn't have dollars, right. doesn't have reserves. The, the government doesn't have reserves. In fact, we, are, we have negative reserves. The, the central bank owes money to the rest of the world. Uh, so it's basically almost impossible to get there just by, by what, what, right. what we have at the moment. And there's no credit, sorry, and there's no credit to get it. So Argentina has no access to lending. The, there's also a philosophical point, isn't there, when you dollarize. The U.S. Fed makes policy solely on the basis of what is necessary for the United States. And right. to, the, to the extent that Argentina, I mean, we've <clears throat> look, this isn't unique, by the way, of course. You know, Hong Kong has a peg. Uh, you've got the, 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 the Dutch. Uh, sorry, in Denmark, there's a peg to the euro. So, but, but in all those other cases, it doesn't, the economic management is not as uh, incompetent as it has been in Argentina. And they can't rely on the Fed doing what they need. Yeah, that's a real problem for Argentina. You're completely right. Uh, the question is, can we ever have a reasonable macroeconomic management? Can we ever have a reasonable central bank similar to the other countries uh, in the region and in the world? I think we should be able to. Uh, it's just that we have to put the right incentives and, and convince people that, you know, the government cannot go forever spending and that the central bank needs to be independent. Um, if we adopt the monetary policy of the U.S., right. uh, it would be the wrong policy for Argentina because, for instance, uh, the U.S. raises interest rates when inflation goes up in the U.S., and that might not be the right time for Argentina. Sure. Argentina at that time might need a, an expansionary monetary policy. So if commodity prices drop, which means Argentina would need a devaluation, uh, the U.S. might not do it because it obviously has its own is problems, it, not, our, not ours. Is it, so I think it would be a, a problem for Argentina. And I think they would, it would be the best solution to try to set the institutions so that, that we have an independent central bank and we have rules and once and for all, Argentina runs a reasonable monetary policy. Don't hold your breath.
We'll talk more about it, sir, as, uh, as this policy comes forward. I'm grateful for your time tonight.